House of Representatives has narrowly voted to make Washington, D.C. in the District of Columbia the 51st, 51st state. The House voted 216 to 208 in favor of the bill. The Democratic-controlled House has approved it without Republican support. The bill will now be sent to the Senate, where it faces stiff Republican opposition. The new state would be named Washington Douglas Commonwealth. The name comes after the first U.S. president, George Washington, and a former enslaved person who became a famous abolitionist, Frederick Douglass. More than 700,000 people live in Washington. The population is more than the states of Wyoming and Vermont. About half of its residents are black, and the population is mostly Democratic. Currently, Washington, D.C. has only one member of Congress, Eleanor Holmes Norton. She is a House delegate who is not allowed to vote on legislation. Statehood will give Washington at least one House member. Congress has a choice. It can continue to exclude D.C. residents from the democratic process, forcing them to watch from the sidelines as Congress votes on federal and D.C. laws, and to treat them, in the words of Frederick Douglass, as aliens, not citizens, but subjects, end quote. Or it can live up to our nation's founding principles. Join the 54% of Americans, that is 54%, Mr. Speaker, and growing who support D.C. statehood and pass H.R. 51. I yield back. Republicans have accused Democrats of a power grab to advance what they call a far-left agenda. Needless to say, the bill is expected to be blocked in the Senate. The House had first passed the bill in June last year when Donald Trump was the president. The bill was cleared by 232 to 180 votes. Republicans who controlled the Senate then refused to act on it. Let's be clear what H.R. 51 is all about. It's about Democrats adding two new progressive U.S. senators to push a radical agenda championed by the squad to reshape America into the socialist utopia they always talk about. 